this is a video I wanted to just kind of give you an update on the Big Woods nursery here at the house. So the idea is, is I'm kind of, you know, having all the rootstocks and trees and so forth started here and then eventually moved up north. And last night I got the last of my plant orders. All winter I've, I've been getting seeds and cuttings. My blueberries came. And I want to give a shout out to Bon Bon Blueberries. Bonnie is amazing. They're out of Kentucky. And uh, if you anything about blueberries, if you know anything about blueberries, they take forever to grow. From seed, I mean, it's, I started some like eight weeks. They finally germinated. I mean, it's like by plug. So what I did is I bought, uh, I think it was 75 one-year-old plugs. And these are all northern varieties that'll grow up north and up north it's perfect we have wild blueberries growing there and the soil needs to be around five and a half acidity level and that's what we have so the idea here is in my chicken coop i just so happened i got lucky must be because of the wood chips and the chickens being there for five years it's like five and a half but I'm gonna start some there. I don't have a lot of room. I'm gonna hopefully kind of pot some of these up and then bring them up in about another week or so up north. But I got uh, Jersey is a very great variety, easy to grow, very hardy. I got Blue Jay, Patriots, Northland. I believe the Northland is a University of Minnesota variety, if I'm not mistaken. I could be wrong, but I thought I read that somewhere. And Elliot's. And, you know, inside each, obviously, you can see one of these bags, there's five little one-year-old plugs. And I got a whole bunch more there in the back, and Bonnie was very nice and uh, sent me, I think, gosh, 10 bonus plants. But let me just show you. So this is what a one-year plug looks like. And simply, boop, hole in the ground, put it in. And I, I use um, peat moss, you know, to surround them. But uh, we'll get them in the ground. But let me, I'm just going to show you just a couple other items here. This here, we have squirrels, man. Crazy squirrels. So... This was our chicken tractor and I converted it into kind of like a high security, squirrel proof uh, tree nursery. So this first one here, those are all pears and plums, like about a dozen varieties. Uh, then we got some apples and hackberries, a bunch of different hackberries. My apple trees that I grew and uh, you know, some elderberry cuttings, but I have already planted about 75 apple trees up north, about 30 elderberry, but I'm gonna let this stuff grow up probably till fall, but let me just kinda show you what we got going inside the, uh, the chicken run. And I'm gonna show you a real kinda cool product that I got. Pardon all the camera movement, but we'll, we'll get set back up. So this here is our old chicken run, okay? And we took the coop down and I'm burning that now. But I wanna show you, I got this system. It's a solar powered uh, irrigation system. And it is Slick Rick. What this does here, I'll, I'll kind of show you here, is I'm, I'm still kind of moving things around. And it has this, you know, solar panel here. And you got your bucket of water here. And what's so great, and here's your unit. And what it does is... I mean, it runs off of no electricity, you know, strictly the solar panel. I got to mount this tonight, but you can just set it, you know, uh, you know, every hour, every day, week in advance, 
and then you could set it for, to drip for just like a couple of minutes all the way up to 30 minutes and it is so cool and what it does you know what I'll, I'll turn it on and then we can kind of go down and take a look You know what? I already have it set, but what it does is I have it set every um, six hours to come on, and it just does a little drip into each individual plant, which is so cool. But let me just kind of give you a little tour. I got black currants. That's some blue forest nursery up in Duluth. Ted Johnson, hell of a nice guy. I got black currants, red currants. Uh, right there is a grape, a Marquette grape from Ted. And see, I'm starting to plant the blueberries. But we got more black currant. Uh, right there, a mystery grape. We don't know exactly. There's a couple of known spe uh, species from Duluth that has grown that he's cultivated. But as you go along, I got just all the different currants and lots of different grapes uh goji berries and even you know some of this small stuff here I mean, that's a service berry tree um so i gotta finish the irrigation in this but like i said that unit is <laughs> very inexpensive i was given it to do a review on it um so i did not pay for it but Oh, I, I'm definitely buying another one for up north because I could, you know, once I plant all these blueberries that I've spent a you know, pretty fair amount of money on, I could set these lines up here and I'm going to put a 55 gallon rain barrel versus a five gallon bucket. Rest assured, all my little baby plants would be, uh, you know, watered with me not being there, no electricity. So really cool you know inexpensive product oh one other thing that there is my wine cap mushroom bed got a whole bunch of you know uh, wood chips you know free and then i inoculated with wine cap spawn so come this fall we should have wine cap mushrooms in there so hey all right any questions leave them below and make it a great day